Greetings, gardeners. Fine morning here in Hawaii again. Um, weather has been quite unusual, and so we're having a few unusual things happen with our citrus. Um, today I would like to take the time to talk about um, how different environments will affect the same citrus tree differently. Um, I know while working in nursery I used to get questions all the time when it came to when are my oranges ripe? That was a real common one. Well, kind of depends on the variety and then that variety has a season within the climate that you live in and it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with color. Very important. Not like an apple. When the apple gets colored it's ready to take down. Citrus? Not necessarily. Kind of depends on what kind it is. Um, the other morning I woke up and I looked out of the door in the back of my bedroom over here at this Valencia orange and I was shocked to notice that the oranges had suddenly turned orange in this tree. Right there for instance is one. Um, here's another one. Yeah, they had been green. And the reason that they turned orange suddenly overnight was because of the kind of weather we're having here. Hawaii currently is having sort of an analog of what I would call California weather. For one, it isn't raining hardly at all here on the Big Island. Other islands have gotten some rain lately, but not here. We're dry. Well, we have also had really clear and sunny days, which were fairly warm in the middle of the afternoon, but we've also had clear nights and with no cloud cover at all in these northerly fronts, the temperatures have been dropping. Um, I believe I read 48 degrees on a mercury here the other night in Mountain View. Now that is cold in Hawaii. I mean somewhere up in the mountains maybe not, but we're really not that high up off the ocean here. That's the coldest temperature I ever read in this particular location. And the, cons the night temperatures have consistently been down in the mid to lower 50s lately. Well, what happened because of that, the Valencia got color. Those are the sorts of conditions that cause California citrus to be so brightly colored orange. California has, in the winter time, usually fairly sunny and awfully clear days, but they will have very cold nights. And it's that clear warm day and cold night that caused the citrus to turn color in California. Uh, it's not the ripeness of the variety necessarily. Okay. Now some citrus, say like an Awari Satsuma or many of the tangerines, uh, most of those when they color up no matter where you're at, they're probably ready to pick, usually. Although I always recommend with people Test a few, and I'll take one down, taste it. Is it ready? If it's not, wait. Um, you know, we used to get uh, navel oranges. In California, for instance, in uh, my gardens would turn uh, orange oftentimes during the month of December. But those same navels weren't really good to eat until somewhere around early February. Once we got to February, going through April and March, oh, they'd be delicious. Okay, but... The orange color did not indicate ripeness, and because of this, I used to get people come to me constantly going, my orange tree is sour, my citrus is sour, how can I fix it? It's sour. Can, is there a fertilizer I can use? You know, the neighbor told me if I put super glue under the tree, it'll turn the oranges sweet. I've heard everything, honestly, under the sun, you know, except for human sacrifice to get the citrus to turn um, ripe. But... The problem with it all is, is that people are judging the oranges by their color, not by their ripeness. Because, as I say, here, literally overnight, clear warm days and cold clear nights just made this tree go flash. Previously it had been green as an emerald. I still have plenty of green fruit up here, but I got a whole lot of orange fruit. And I just suddenly woke up and said, whoa, look at that, you know. And, you know, I had a conversation with my good friend Joe 
the other day who has some videos on YouTube about exotic fruits. Uh, Joe has recently come from California here to the Big Island and Joe is planting an amazing fruit garden that I have been helping him raise the stock for um, and will continue to do so. But we were walking around the farm and Joe looked at my orange trees and he said, you know, I don't think I've ever had a good orange here in Hawaii. I said, really? You know, that kind of blew me away because you know, I think Hawaiian oranges are good. They're very different than oranges in California, but they're really good. Um, and so as we passed my Mineola Tangelo, I reached up and grabbed the right piece, cut it in half and said, here, try that. Whoa, Joe was a sudden convert. He was so happy. He said, man, this is the best piece of citrus I've had here on the island. And I, think, I believe it has started him on a journey. He is now researching all these different varieties and going to start collecting citrus trees as part of his program, which I'm very happy about. I love citrus. And having my friend Joe gather up varieties that I could not find here usually, uh, it's, that's going to be a good thing for me too. But you know, the, the whole point of this is that here in Hawaii, ordinarily, most of our citrus, it doesn't turn good colors. Uh, this same Valencia orange, which in California is a major market fruit, and it's always really bright orange when it hits the market tables. This fruit here in Hawaii, in Kahala, which is in the dry, far northwest of the island, up there they get what they call Kahala greens. I and mean, I've seen them, green as an emerald and sweet as sugar. Uh, they just refuse to turn color in that area. Um, in Kona, we have what we call Kona browns. The Kona browns are still the same orange as this one right here, but in Kona, they tend to turn kind of yellow, and then they have this potato-like russeting over the outside. And so they're pretty brown and ugly, but man, they're so delicious when ripened. Um, you know, so again, color has nothing to do with, with any of this. Um, in Mountain View, they generally tend to, tend to turn kind of a yellow-orange color, sort of similar to the way they look in Florida. Now, Florida is a juice orange state, whereas California is an eating orange state. And the reasons behind all of that is Florida has high rainfall, Florida has warm days and warm nights. And so Valencia is the predominant juicing orange in the world. Now there are many varieties of Valencias and you know some called Dillers, some called Mars, there's all kinds of them, but they're basically Valencia types originally. These in the milder, warmer climates without cold nights are almost always referred to as juice oranges. In places like California with cold nights, they are referred to as eating oranges. Because in, in Florida, this same orange will have a rather ugly yellow skin. It's not very brightly colored. Um, and it will have a tremendous amount of juice and a lot of sugar in that environment. In California, same orange bright orange and sprightly, not quite as sweet, but more acid. And so it has a more exciting taste in California. And I think this is what Joe was seeking because a lot of the citrus here in Hawaii really is like Florida, very mild. It doesn't develop so much acidity. This is why he found the Mineola Tangelo to be so delicious because the Tangelo is half crossed between a tangerine and a grapefruit. And when you plant something like that in, in Hawaii, no matter what you do in the climate, you're going to get a more sprightly tasting piece of citrus because of the grapefruit genes that are in there. And so tangelos are generally a pretty good uh, choice for this region if you want a citrus that's got quite a bit of punch to it. Otherwise, a lot of the citrus here does tend to be, like Florida, high in water content, high in sugar content, and not very well colored. So this is what affects how citrus looks and tastes in different environments. Um, oranges in Mexico, for instance, from some of the tropical regions down there, when they do bring them into this country, uh, they're often referred to as Mexican whites because they have so little color that it's not unusual in, if you shop in your discounters, you'll find them and they'll be dyed orange. 
<laughs> they have to put orange color on the oranges in order to market them. So, um, you know, this, this is kind of the way it goes. Now, I have found that for flavor here in Hawaii, uh, the Valencia is really good, and it's a good choice because it will bear year-round here, making it a great tree in the garden. You can always get oranges off this thing. Crops will overlap. Last year's crop will overlap with this year's crop and so on. Um, but other than that, I, I think that most of the tangerines, the tangelos, and the tangors, the tangors being the cross between oranges and tangerines, that they're really probably some of the best flavored fruits we have here. They're definitely the brightest colored. In general, most tangerines on this island tend to color up nice and orange, and they usually do it when the fruit is ripe. So, but if you're having trouble finding citrus in Hawaii that matches the flavor of what you were looking for from California, I do recommend you try uh, some of the tangerines or the hybrids. They will probably satisfy you more. Well, that's all there is to say about citrus today. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful day. Hang loose and 